What's going on guys, Uzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we are reviewing Barrera, I think it's called, or if you're English you call him Barrera. He is obviously 88 overall and he is currently in the league SBCs. Now this card came out three days ago but I want to say a big thank you to my guy Saar for obviously allowing me to hop onto his account and use this card. I want you guys to go hit him up with a follow on Twitter please, the link will be in the description. But let's get straight into it. 91 pace, 89 dribbling, 85 shooting, and 90 passing. He looks outstanding for a cam. He really does. Now, if you're going to be playing this guy centre mid, please don't. 50 defending. Put, just just stay at cam, please. Just stay at cam. Don't go nowhere near the centre mid or CDMs. Now, he is 5'7", so he's one, in, one inch below meta height. But that's not going to matter too much. High, low work rates. Interesting. Now, I've never actually used a cam that has high, low work rates. I think this is a first. And I don't even like high medium at cam. And now this guy's got high, low. It looks like I'm probably going to just have another striker pretty much. Now, he's got four-star skill moves, which means he's going to be able to do the Berber and the standing scoop turn. The four-star weak foot is going to allow me to obviously shoot onto his right foot. He is on a Maestro Chemistry style. He is obviously on 10 chem. 87 acceleration, 93 spin speed is something you don't see from a cam nowadays all cams usually nowadays they they rely on other stuff like dribbling passing and a good obviously a finish they don't really need that much pace but it looks like Barella has Barreva sorry has actually got pace now finishing wise 95 attacking positioning 88 finishing 84 shot power that's pretty decent to be fair to him inside the box he should be finishing the ball fairly easily now, he's got 99 long shots, but the 84 shot power really isn't going to help that long shots. And I doubt it's going to go in, especially this year. 91 penalties means he's pretty much going to hit the top bins every time. 99 vision, 90 crossing, 96 free kick accuracy, 99 short passing, 93 long passing, 75 curve. Now, for a cam to pass a ball is probably their biggest, biggest attribute to have. The fact that he's going to be able to do the little give and goes, the one twos, the link up play, the over the top through balls from one turn of the pitch completely to the other is going to be unbelievable. And I'm expecting this guy to pretty much be the heart of the team. Now he's got 99 agility with 99 balance. You already know what we're going to see over this card. A cam that is agile, that's my type of cam. Now he's got 88 reactions, 91 ball control, 95 dribbling and 91 composure. I'm expecting him to be very calm and composed, taking good touches. I'm not expecting this guy to take one bad touch. But if I do see a bad touch, there will be problems. Now, 93 jumping, him being obviously 5 foot 7. He will probably out ahead of 5 foot 9 and below. I wouldn't go any higher than that. Now, he's got stamina. 90 stamina. <laughs> this guy's going to be up and down the pitch. And he's going to last for the whole 90 minutes. And that's exactly what you want to see. 72 strength. He's going to be getting bodied off the ball and him being 5 foot 7, it doesn't really help either. 51 aggression, he's going to be losing a lot of 50-50s. Now, today I have linked him up with, I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that because that's way out my league. But also Faber, I've also got the likes of Milner, Salah and James in the team. I will be using Pereira in a 4-2-3-1, playing him in that cam role. But that's the only position I will be playing him in today. I'm not going to try, try him up front because 84 shot power... I personally don't think it's going to be enough. But let's get straight into these games. Now, the one thing we always do when testing out a player straight off, we see how agile they are. And look at this. Little sharp turns, and that is something you do want to see. All these little touches. Plays a beautiful ball in behind. Going to pass it back to him on the edge of the Salah. Simple touch onto the left foot. And just like that, we're going to get a goal. You could argue oh, it was obviously kickoff. But at the end of the day, it starts from the main man. And I wouldn't say it ended, but he did end up getting the assist. That's good tracking from him, to be fair. He's doing his defensive work, which is something I don't think anyone expected, especially with high-low work rates. He feels so nice on the ball. It is ridiculous. Look at this. Like the standing scoop turns, the little turning in and out, how agile he feels. Honestly, I can already tell he's going to be one hell of a player. This is a perfect example of his high-low work rates right now. He's at the bottom, the number five. I'll actually pass to him just to show you. You see how high up he is? He's not in a cam position there. I'm playing. I'm clearly playing him in a 4-2-3-1. He's not playing in that cam position, it looks like. But he really is, and that's going to that's gonna affect you a lot. Because he's not going to be there for a lot of the passing options. Now, he will be there time to time. But I would say probably seven out of ten times. No, five times out of ten, he won't be there. See you on the edge here. 
Can he find a little gap to the Salah? Yes, he can. Half drag back. Easy half drag back. Can it be a finish? Very, very unfortunate. But right there, he was at the right place at the right time. And that is something enjoyable. Also, he could have actually shifted. If, the, if he had a bit more strength there, we could have got the ball back there. And we would have had it up. And that is going to be a very, very disappointing because of his strength. Nice. Oh, my God. That's good. Little step over. I'm, I'm struggling to do a step over. All right. We eventually got there. RBA across. It's pretty much a gap. What have I just witnessed? Okay. And that's not a penalty. Okay. But it was an amazing pass from him. He did really, really well just to get the angle. I did try to do multiple step overs, but they just didn't end up working. That's nice from him. Go for the finesse long shot. Mm. There was so little shot power behind that. It was ridiculous, to be fair. And that long shot, oh, okay. It did take a rebound. Oh, sorry, a deflection. But at the same time, it kind of questions. If it, that didn't take the deflection, it actually looked like it was going straight towards the keeper either way. So maybe the accuracy wasn't great either. That was really, really good strength from him, to be fair to you. I, there is something I am noticing. That was amazing dribbling. Oh, we just couldn't get the finish there. But there is one thing I am noticing. He is, it like, it says he's quite strong. Like 70, I think it was 71 strength. But at the same time, he doesn't feel extremely weak. Now, that chance, he should have. He should have scored it. Let's all be fair now. That is a clear-cut chance. That is a near-post power shot finish. I'm pretty sure a lot of cams that I have obviously reviewed in the past would be finishing that, I would say, nine times out of ten. Now, could that be that one chance that it didn't go in? That's what we're here for. We're here to test it out. I love his passing ability. His passing ability is ridiculous, and I can really see it come into play. That's beautiful from him. Can I get the shot? Very, very weak shot. We're missing chances left, right and centre today. Now, that is a very weak shot. The accuracy wasn't great either. And it's starting to make me think this guy is not great at shooting at all. Look at that dribbling. That is one thing I am enjoying from him though. The way he feels so comfortable in the ball that I can just wait for the opening. And then do an easy pass towards Mo Salah. And obviously get an amazing finish. But honestly, on the edge of the box, this guy is something else the way he just does, does these little t you know little dribbles left and right sending opponents left right and center and he can just lay it off to the main striker but this is one thing you are going to get from him look at this once again he's standing right next to Mo Salah finally he realizes that he, he is actually playing in a cam position and he's just sitting in front of the line and that is exactly what I want him to do but time to time, he is not doing that. He took a very, very dodgy touch there, which I couldn't end up getting a good finish shot angle and just started banging it pretty much into the player. I need a turn there. Can I get a finish? And we finally do get a goal with him. And it was a clean finish, to be fair to him. He was sitting perfectly in front of the defender. He did the fake shot, which was also very nice because it didn't go too far away from his body. And using that left foot to absolutely hit it top pins and straight past the keeper. I like how he can do that with both feet. I've tried it with his right. I've tried it with his left. And it's so perfect. The amount of power and accuracy he puts behind it. It just makes it drop straight to the player. That's beautiful. Oh, come on. Get a finish behind that. Oh, my God. When I tell you this guy's finishing is a lie. If that didn't show you how, I, like, how I'm telling you the truth. I really don't know what is at this point. His burber spin is so good. It is ridiculous. Oh, I shouldn't have really passed it there. I did stitch him up, I must say. But his burber spin is super, super fast. And that is clearly my favorite skill on him. Complete switch I play with a beautiful through ball. Look at that, man. You don't get a better pass than that. Going to fake shot in here. Come on, fight for it. Mm, just ball rolled into him. That is clearly my fault. No way. Oh my god. If we got a goal through that, I really don't know what to say. This guy's long pass there was insane. A standing long pass that just chipped over the whole back line and challenged the keeper. 
So right now, look at him. He is playing in a cam role. And this guy... Oh, my God. Little chip. Oh, I should have just gone for the easy shot. The, my opponent really screwed up there. But you can see what I mean about this guy does not play in a cam position at all. He play, he just makes runs left, right, and center. And personally, this is why I don't think you guys should get cams. That is high, low work rates. It's going to screw you in the long run. And trust me, you're not going to get along with it. What a run that is, though. Oh, come on. I should have probably took one more touch and then gone for the finish. But at the same time, do I believe he's hit this with a lot of shot, shot power? 100%. Look at this. That was an absolute bullet. But I need that more into the corner and De Gea will have no chance of saving it. Little fake shot around the corner. Show all that pace that you have got inside of you. Great turning ability. Good Berber spin. Get past that guy. He kept very nice on his feet there. Just going to hit the edge of the box. And it's an unbelievable pass. Really well played. Turn onto that right foot. I, I don't understand. Boys, there's no there's no going behind this now. There really isn't. He's finishing is probably one of the worst finishings I, I've ever seen on a cam. Honestly, the chances he's missing, I've never seen anyone miss. Another perfect example. Look at Mo Salah and look at him. They have pretty much switched spots and he is, at this point, playing in a striker role. Trust me, you do not want that. That will happen a lot in a 4-2-3-1. But at the same time, do you really want him up front after seeing how bad his finishing really is? Hell no. So it is time to review him. And let me say, this card is not what I expected. It's a big, big disappointment. And we really have to be careful when reviewing this card. Because I need to tell you the good stuff and I need to tell you the bad stuff. 5 foot 7 really good. High, low. I've never seen a worse work rate in my entire life for a cam. Honestly, the guy was always out of position. Yeah, there was some times that he might be just sitting in front of the center backs. But I want my striker to do that. Because clearly, when this guy turns, he, it's not going to be a finish at all. And that is one of the biggest problems I did have with this card. The four-star skill moves. The, uh, the Burber spin, super, super nice on this card. The four-star weak foot. It felt like a four-star when passing, 100%. But when shooting, the left foot didn't even feel good. So imagine the right foot. Pace, really, really fast. That is one thing I did like about him. Shooting the ball, terrible. Do not shoot the ball with this guy, please. He miss, he's missing open goals, left, right, and center. He's missing clear-cut chances, left, right, and center. I really don't know what to say about this card. Passing, unbelievable. The... I wouldn't say one of the best passes that I have seen because I have obviously reviewed a lot of cards. But at the end of the day, he's got a really nice pass to him. The RBAs, the little link-up plays when he was in the right position. Obviously, the high-low did drag him down a little bit. But at the same time, the over-the-top three balls was probably my favorite thing about him. Dribbling, really, it feels really, really nice on the ball. Very agile. One thing I did know is it's very easy to tackle him because obviously he is small. So if, a, if my opponent with Van Dijk or, I don't know, Sanchez, the new card... Just comes in, clicks B. They are going to get this card because they do bully him because he has 72 strength. And they know they're not going to fight for the ball because he's got 51 aggression. Stamina lost throughout the whole game. Jumping surprised me. He actually won a header inside my own box. Now, I have to give this card a rating out of 10. I can't give him more than like a 5 or even a 6 out of 10. I am going to give him a 5.5 out of 10. But at the same time... I'm super, super disappointed because I really did believe this card could be, I wouldn't say game breaking, but I would say just a decent cam, a cam that you're going to get as a super sub, but I advise you guys to stay away from this one. But if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.